very good afternoon to all myself professor kondalik padil mechanical engineering department snd college of engineering yavla in our series of tribalism lectures today we have to see how to measure the wear what are the different techniques used for this wear and what are some advanced techniques and some limitations okay so here we are seen we are classifying firstly the wear measurement in three types first one is commonly used techniques second is less commonly used techniques and third one is wear debris analysis techniques so in this first type commonly used techniques first method is weight loss techniques okay so weight loss techniques the name implies the loss of weight of the materials removal of the materials so this technique is preferable to measure large amount of wear which can be used only when the density of material remains constant and transfer of the material does not occur during the wear process okay means there is no any transfer of the material this technique is not effective in case of thin wear resistance coating so the resolution of this technique ranges from 10 to 100 micrograms 100 nanograms so this limitation of this process is the wear is mainly related to the volume of the material and such method may gives different results if the material to be compared with different in densities so we weight loss measurement does not take in account a wear by material displacement that is a specimen may gain weight by transfer okay so another method is stylus profiler okay or non contact optical profiler so this is the easy method and commonly used method to measure the depth of wear with resolution up to a fraction of nanometer okay so <clears throat> with the help of this fully automatic profiler three dimensional wall worn surfaces can be obtained the stylus profiler has resolution ranging from the 20 to 50 <clears throat> nanometers when optical profiler has resolution ranging from 0.5 to 2 nanometers okay so we are track profile often with the stylus profile is shown in okay so the path of this wear path with peak and valleys we can obtain from this profilometers the third one is wickers or no micro hardness indentation techniques this is a uh, easy to use and also commonly used to measure the depth of wear with the resolution of a fraction of nanometers in this techniques <coughs> wickers or no indentation are made on the wear surface okay by measuring the width of this indentation before and after the wear test under a microscope the depth of the wear can be calculated this technique has real resolution ranging from 25 to 50 nanometers okay so these three methods are generally used from this three these two stylus and wickers are commonly used methods to wear measurements then our second is less commonly used techniques in this radioactive decay so in this radioactive decay it is used to measure a small wear and also called as ato radiography okay it is very sensitive but required facilitate to irritate it on one of the member and measure the change in radiations this technique has a resolution of approximately then second is scanning electron microscopy <coughs> scanning electron microscopy okay so 
this SEM method of the worn surfaces is commonly used to measure the microscopic wear. This technique has a resolution up to 0.1 nanometers. And this third one is scanning electron microscopy. Not a scanning electron, this is scanning tunneling microscopy. Okay. Scanning tunneling microscopy can be used to measure the wear of atomic, atomic scale. And this technique has a resolution ranging from 0.02. 0.05 nanometers. This third one to measurement is we are debris analysis techniques. Okay. So we are debris analysis technique. <coughs> debris. Okay. The name implies the methods. In this, we have to use this ferrography. Okay. Ferrography. So it is basically a techniques of separation of the wear particle from the used oil. Means we have to collect the wear of particles from the used oil, such as lubricant oil or fuel, etc. This study is useful for analyzing the nature, magnitude, and the way of growth in the wear rate by particle size distinction of the wear debris. Ferrography works in the two stages as direct reading ferrograph and analytical ferrographs okay in direct reading ferrograph there is an instrument glass capillary tube for precipitator tubes and the wear debris are arranged according to their particle size in a glass capillary tube this sample oil is heated in a furnace at 65 degrees centigrade to 70 degrees centigrade in order to homogeneous suspension of the particles in the used oil and oil of 1 ml along with the solvent carbon tetrachloride is shaped in a test tube for reducing the viscosity of oil okay. and now this oil flows by capillary action through precipitated tube a magnet is placed below the glass tube <coughs> and a powerful magnetic field aligns the particle according to the size larger particle above about 5 micron and above are deposited at the entry point while smaller particles about 0.5 to 5 microns are concentrated away from the entry and this magnetic force is directly proportional to the volume of wear particles and the viscous force resisting the motions is proportional to the particle area So, the following additional indication here is to calculate total wear is equal to PL plus PS, where PL is quantum of larger wear particles, or PS is quantum of smaller wear particles. Okay. <laughs> then we have to see magnetic flux. Magnetic flux. are simple magnetic law positioning in the lubricating system for getting a magnetic maximum wear devices. These are generally provided at the bottom of some reservoir, bigger pumps, compressor casing, etc. The devices collected can be quantified and examine visually by electromagnetic fabric tester or scanning electron microscopes. And this magnetic block are also help in par partial cleaning of the lubricating oil in addition to collecting the metallic debris for monitoring. Okay. So, and this third one is spectroscopic oil analysis. Okay. This spectroscopic oil analysis or SOE. <clears throat> In this technique, a small concentration of metallic wear products suspended in used lubricant oil 
and can be identified and analyzed by spectroscopic analyzers. This spectroscope is an optical instrument which is designed to study the spectrum of light. It is used to identify the chemical elements and thus to determine the chemical composition of the wear particles by examination of spectral lines in the emitted or absorbed lights. These spectral lines are the fundamental characteristics of element or metal present in the wear debris. <clears throat> so wear debris, it is nothing but it is the mixture of lubricating oils and wear out for worn out particles, foreign particles in the debris. The element absorbs or emits the energy of only specific wavelengths, which is a characteristic of atom of the elements. The SOA can also identify the element from oil seals, coolers, and other components. By knowing these elements and their connection and concentrations, one can find the wearing out components. Okay. <clears throat> so this spectroscopic oil analysis is a very good and suitable method among the optics, all three methods to find is wear out particles. In this, the various types of debris are also there, ferrous, non ferrous debris or non metallic debris, okay, and is uh, <coughs> All the debris are collected in this oil analysis. So today we see the various measurement processes for this viewers. Here we have to stop. Okay, thank you.